It's the climax of the US Open at the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. So far, a tournament of shocks and surprises. Now, it's quarterfinal time. Canadian David Fatton was the first man through to the next round in his first ever TV appearance. Chris Mason, well, he looked impressive in beating Roger Carter. And Mark Dubridge lived up to expectations with a win over Dave Honey. Dennis Priestley wound back the clock to beat young gun Adrian Gray. And as expected, Phil Taylor, the defending champion, made it through after a win over Colin Osborne. Ronnie Baxter, well, he was just too good for Gary Mawson. But then came the shock of the day, with Wayne Mardle falling to home favourite Ray Carver in front of a partisan Mohegan crowd. And Colin Lloyd looked every inch a potential winner, whitewashing his great mate, Roland Scholten. Hello once again and welcome to the Mohegan Sun here in Connecticut where tonight we will crown the 2008 US Open champion live on Nuts TV. We've got seven matches for you building up to the final a little later on and the big question of course, can anyone switch off the power as Phil Taylor continues his relentless pursuit of back-to-back -back US Open titles. But over the last couple of days we have witnessed quite a few twists and turns so you never know, expect the unexpected. It should be quite a night and I'm delighted to say to guide us through all the action the former world number one Rod Harrington a few more grey hairs today after a bad experience on the roulette wheel the man who, who backed black and it came up red and then back red and it came up black. Yeah well when you're in a casino you know you do what you do and uh, that's just the way the luck goes to. Back to the business in hand can anyone beat Taylor? Well I said at the beginning of the tournament I didn't think Taylor could be beaten but two performances yesterday. Mark Dubridge, I thought, played really well, scored well, took the doubles out, and in this format, this short format, you've got to do. And then last on last night, Colin Lloyd destroyed Roland Shelton, back to his best, and I really think that Colin Lloyd has got it to uh, do this tournament now. Yeah, Ray Carver, terrific performance from the home favourite. If he plays like he did yesterday, you never know, you just never know. Well, what Ray's got to do, you know, he's got to win that first set. He went, took out a wonderful 1-3-1 one, one to really get control of the game against Wayne. But against Phil Taylor, leg on leg, Phil is going to pressure him all the way. And he's got to hit them doubles and take the chances. Otherwise, Phil do what he does for everybody. OK, well, let's, uh, let's show you what we've got coming up uh, tonight. The quarterfinals. First up, it's uh, Baxter against Lloyd, as you mentioned. And then David Fatton, the man from Canada, lives in, in Phoenix, Arizona these days against Chris Mason. What, a, what a, a fantastic experience it's been for Fatton. His first appearance live on telly. Yeah, he played brilliant yesterday. Chris Mason's got a game on his hands there. Chris has really got to up his, his performance if he wants to take Fatham out and get into the semi-finals. Dubbridge against Priestley, both playing well, and it's been a, a great effort from Dennis Priestley so far. It has. Dennis is always going to be the old stalwart of darts. You know what you've got to do. You, you can't play bad and beat Dennis Priestley. You've got to be on your game. And as I said, Mark impressed me yesterday, so, you know, that's going to be... I think we've got four real close games, to be quite honest with you. OK, well, the same format, of course. It's uh, best of five sets, three legs per set. Our first match is the Rocket, Ronnie Baxter against Colin Lloyd. Our roving reporter, as always, is Becky Rule, and she has been catching up with the Rocket. Thanks, guys. It was an amazing day yesterday, and we're ready for a really, really good tournament today. I'm now joined with Ronnie Baxter. Ronnie, you're looking pretty relaxed. I just saw you up in the casino. Did you start today on a high? Uh, yes, actually, just a, f a few presses of the buttons and uh, $400 come my way. And Peter Manley's as well. <laughs> now, um, you had a brilliant match against Gary Mawson yesterday. How confident are you feeling in playing Colin Lloyd? Always confident when I'm playing darts. No problem about that. Me and Colin go along, uh, um, way back a, a long way, so uh, we know each other's play and uh, I'm sure it will be an exciting game for the first one. Now, it's your second year in the quarter-finals. What's going to be going through your mind on stage? Getting into the semis, simple as that. So what are you going to have to do to get into the semis? Beat Colin Lloyd, obviously. But, but you must have a game plan. Uh, game plan is just to score well and to finish and get the doubles. I mean, that's the only game plan you can do with darts, uh, unless you want to play the, uh, uh, the ones that put people off during the time they play. But uh, my game plan is just to beat them up. 
<laughs> well, good luck to you, Ronnie. Thank you, Becky. Well, a man of few words, isn't he, Ronnie Baxter? Dry sense of humour. One thing's for sure, it's going to be quick-fire stuff. Baxter against Lloyd. Colin Lloyd, the only man in the tournament so far yet to drop a set. And as we all know, he's never short of a word or two. He's been talking to Becky. Colin, you knocked out your roommate yesterday. What was it like when you got back to the hotel? No, it was fine. Me and Ronnie are good mates, and we know it's just, it's just purely business. Simple as that, really. Now you're up against Ronnie Baxter. Do you like competing against him? Oh, well, you know what to expect with Ronnie. Ronnie just goes full out attack, and the same as we always do. And um, he's a tough opponent. But uh, we've had some good battles in the past, and hopefully this will be a good battle for Nuts TV. Now you've already hit a nine darter this year, and yesterday you hit a ten darter. What's next? An eleven or twelve? Or I don't care. I don't worry about things like that. Um, it's just a matter of get to the double as quick as I can, check out, and hopefully keep winning, hopefully. OK, well, best of luck to you today, Colin. Thank you. Now, just a, a new steely determination about Colin Lloyd these days, isn't there? Yeah, that's from the start of the year. I think he's got his act together. He had a bad year last year, and now he really is on form. You know, he's the highest scorer, a really tremendous scorer of the treble 20, probably one of the best in the game. And if Lloyd is on form on the treble 20, then their opponents are going to be chasing. But Baxter, tough component. He knows what he's going to expect with him, and uh, it could be a close game. OK who is going to be in the final a little later. Well, I think it's still got to go with Phil Taylor, and I think he'll be playing Lloydie in the final. Well, we shall see if Rod Harrington's uh, roulette experiences are anything to go by. Back someone else, we shall see. Anyway, coming up, all the action, the quarterfinals after the break. Our first match, it's Ronnie Baxter against Colin Lloyd. <laughs> 